G'day! Welcome to Great White Gaming, and today we are going to be opening a booster box from Wish. So I've had a quick look at some of the cards that have come from Wish. Uh, they look alright in the photos, but everything looks alright in the photos from Wish. Uh, so let's see just how dodgy this is going to be. The first thing that you may notice when we check out our beautiful box here is that it is not particularly well wrapped. So they're usually tight plastic packaging that will have sealed. A sealed official trainer box is not so tight and not so sealed in this one. Um, so it does rip open easily, which for those that have watched my opening videos is a massive problem that I have. Uh, but the next thing we get to look at is, of course, the integrity of the box itself. So this is how the box came to me. They've obviously opened a real box, and they've put them back into a real box, but uh, I don't know whether they took it out of the bin or what they did with the box itself. Uh, it's, yeah, it's already ripped. It's, it's in pretty poor nick. So looking at the pack... Uh, look, the pack is pretty good. The colouring is not quite right, but if you saw that in a store, you wouldn't necessarily know that it wasn't right. What I decided to do was go and get a real Unbroken Bonds sealed blister pack from the local store, just to compare what one of the official uh, Unbroken Bonds uh, booster packs looks like compared to the knockoff version. So you'll see the colouring's a little bit different, um, the positioning of the text on the packet is a little bit different, um, and it's a little bit of a different shape. Uh, probably the key difference that you're going to see is going to be in that back foil. So on the official ones you've got the split side on the back, uh, which I have terrible trouble trying to open. Um, so this is our official uh, pack. So starting with our official Grass Energy, Poliwhirl, Tor Cat, Metapod, Litten, Lickitung, Spiro, Meltan, Rhyhorn, Reverse Hollow Gligar, and a holographic Arcanine. So now let's compare that to what we're going to get in this same packaged uh, Unbroken Bonds kit. So you'll see that the uh, we only have a single piece of plastic here. It is an easier pack to open. And right off the bat, we get ourselves a full art Marchamp. Marchamp, of course, not from the set. So Tyrogue, Crabominal, Butterfree, Seeking, Water Energy, Greens, Seal, and Ghastly. So there's a couple of things that are a bit different between the packs. Um, so obviously the key thing is that that Marchamp GX is not part from the set. But if we're comparing the backs of the cards, so left hand is the official one, right hand is the knockoff, at face value, they look pretty close. So the energy cards are not bad. Um, most of the cards in the pack were from Unbroken Bonds, which was surprising. But of course, the chase card, the full art Machamp GX, is not even from a recent set. So let's jump into some of these packs and see whether we can get ourselves a any uh, chase cards from uh, from the Unbroken Bond set. And would you look at that? We have got ourselves a Rainbow Rare Marchamp. Again, not from the set. So the Rainbow Rares, look, they don't have the same prestige when they're coming from a fake pack. Um, but if we check out the rest of the cards, they are all cards from 
the Unbroken Bond set. So uh, you'll definitely notice one other thing, of course, is that there are nine cards in these packs uh, compared to the usual ten. Um, so you are getting fewer cards in these packs for your money. And you're really only getting eight cards from the set. But you'll see that there are some fake prints of other rare cards that are showing up regularly. So we get our Mind Report Mewtwo, a Vico Vault, both rares, Diglett, Tangler, Tentacool, Welder, Water Energy, Kingler, and a Rainbow Rare Charizard. Not from the set. If this was real, I would be absolutely jumping out of my skin, but unfortunately, the value of a fake card is just about nothing. So, we'll open up a couple more packs where we show off the entirety of the pack. Um, this is the Great White Patented having difficulty opening a pack. Uh, trademark pending, of course. So let's see if we can have a bit of suspense. So let's go Incineroar, Dugong, I do like that Dugong, uh, Stunfisk, Litten, Water Energy again, Electromagnetic Radar, Sand Slash, and an Ash Greninja EX, which is from even longer ago. Uh, so I obviously can't line stuff up with the camera, so and I'm just having a look at it myself. Uh, but yeah, Ash Greninja EX. So we are going back more than five years for that one, I believe. It's good to see the quality of the cards that are coming up. So I think that we will probably make our way through another couple of... Uh, these cards in the full fashion, and then we're just going to be checking out the ultra-rare quote-unquote cards that are going to be coming out of these packs. we got a Goldeen and a Mega Charizard EX. We are on a roll for cards that aren't even GXs. They are that old. So those were well and truly not part of the Unbroken Bond set. Yep, let's split those EX cards away from our Full Art GX and our Rainbow Rare. So what I decided to do, rather than commentating directly on all of these really exciting ultra rare fake cards, uh, especially considering that none of them are from the set that I'm supposedly opening, is just take a little bit of a chance to chat about the channel in general um, and what I am going to be doing moving forward. So, honestly, I recorded this video about two months ago, and it's just taken me forever to get in and be able to actually record the audio. Um, I was super excited to bring this video out to you guys. It was a really fun opening. Even though all of the, the cards were fake, I went back through and there were quite a few rare prints in there. There were even a couple of um, cards that I had forgotten were part of this set that are sort of staples. Uh, things like Spiritum that are really useful cards. Um, and if I'm going to be sort of playing around with where it doesn't matter that the cards are fake, um, if I'm just mucking around with family or teaching people how to play or something like that, I'm more than happy to give people that aren't players a deck that's built up of fake cards if it doesn't really uh, matter to them. And I'm more than happy to uh, take them in the way of being essentially surrogate cards. Um, but what I'm hoping to do in the next couple of weeks, I really want to pull my finger out and get some more content out. I started doing this because I thought it was going to be fun and I thought I was going to have a lot of spare time during the uh, lockdown period. It 
is a lot of fun. I don't have a lot of spare time. So that balancing act hasn't quite worked out for me. But what I'm really keen to do is give a couple of the main cards that are going to be rotating soon their final dance. Um, so big decks that I have really enjoyed playing, things like Lost March, things like Malamar, um, even some of the decks that are losing key pieces uh, like our netballs um, for grass decks, mysterious treasure for psychic and dragon decks, things that you don't necessarily see that often and, and are not going to be seen after the rotation. So I'll be chatting a little bit more about my thoughts for the rotation when I do those videos. So we've still got a couple of weeks left uh, and I'm planning to get a few final dances out. Um, and I will be opening the new Darkness of Blaze sets when they release towards the end of this coming week. So I'm pretty keen for that. Uh, I will be recording and trying to get some gameplay, so it'll be fairly similar to what I did with the last set. I'll do a booster box opening, I'll do some build and battle kits if I can manage to get my hands on them. Uh, unfortunately, there are no stores in my local area, um, and from what I can see in the greater uh, Brisbane area that are going to be selling the build and battle kits, um, so I'm going to need to call around to a couple of the stores that aren't showing them online to see whether they have them available. But once I can get my hands on some, I'll definitely be bringing some build and battle kit um, ideas. I also have a few other fun things that I'm looking to do uh, Pokemon card related in the next few weeks. So definitely keep an eye out for that if you have made it this far in the video. Um, and I am really looking forward to the rotation. I think that rotation is one of those times where as a deck builder, you really get to test your chops because uh, the sort of cards that you've been relying on for the last couple of years that are no longer there. So we've got the last couple of packs here and then the video will do a hard finish because honestly, I just want to get this thing out. It is late. It has been seven weeks since I recorded this, so I just want to get it up there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I am super keen to get some more content out and be a little bit more consistent. But until next time, have a good life.